so in this video we'll be discussing the eighth rule which is nothing but removing minor loop so minor loop loop is nothing but this part this you observe carefully here we have the input r of r1 we have taken and here we have the output here we have the the forward path transfer function here we have the feedback feedback path transfer function h dash of s now this is nothing but a minor loop now what i can do here the summing point is having only one signal which is going through this right one signal means it is having one feedback signal which is connected so i can uh, remove the signal to remove the summing point and just to collaborate that thing and make one block right so this will get reduced it will reduce the confusion also okay so block reduction rule in this says that whenever you see a minor loop how to identify minor so in order to identify the minor loop it is simply says that see here the direction is opposite see this block it is going right side this block it is coming left side okay so here the signal's direction is opposite so in this case the direction of signal through this d dash of s and s dash of s is opposite okay so this kind of combination is called as what minor feedback loop okay minor feedback loop because it is having only one feedback or we can say that one block is there over here and one blo block is there over here i'm not talking about transfer function i'm talking just about the uh, the block so this is nothing but a, a small loop one minor loop only this much one block is over here one block is over here output is there input is there one summing point this summing point i can just remove off so when i remove this summing point what will happen these two blocks has to be combined how will i combine that is nothing but this rule so this rule says about that so when i combine these two thing when i going when i'm going to reduce the minor loop when i'm going to reduce the summing point which is having only one addition of this thing so it will become g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s simple this thing we have discussed about the output by input closed loop transfer function or control ratio we have discussed the same thing plus or minus you can put the same thing over here so simply says that this forward path gain block observe here that will be numerator g dash of s in this it is not necessary that only g dash of s will be there okay when we discuss the reduction problems there you will understand it may contain many other things maybe it will be g1 g2 okay so you have to take a numerator g1 g2 i am just saying that this block whatever block is there that will be numerator by 1 plus or minus is fixed 1 plus or minus is fixed then this block again this block that is g dash of s into multiplied with the feedback block that is s dash of s simple okay so numerator this block will come denominator 1 plus or minus is fixed then again the same block then feedback block now this plus or minus why am i putting plus or minus this plus or minus depends upon this sign of the summing point so since i have removed the summing point their sign is there plus or minus see they will specify one sign either it will be minus or plus so when it is negative suppose observe here assume that here it is negative they have mentioned it as negative then it will be g dash of s by 1 plus g dash of s h of s s dash of s when it is negative here you have to press put opposite sign you have to put when it is positive suppose it is, it is positive then it will be g dash of s by 1 minus g dash of s into s dash of s so opposite signs you have to put this also be careful opposite sign here it is negative put here plus if it is positive put here minus that's it so this is the removing the minor loop minor loop simply one small loop in which one forward path will be there in which one block will be there feedback path one more block will be there one summing point will be there input output will be there that's it okay you have to reduce it into small one single block so this is what you have to